And then we've got the term of progressive, of regressive. Now, regressive is always going to be a term to kind of uh, downplay a tax. So if a politician doesn't like a tax, then you're going to call it regressive. So the tax rate decreases as wage base increases, meaning the tax burden is going to be more heavily on the lower income individuals, which is, of course, not what you want. You want the taxes to be on the people that can uh, afford to pay the taxes, but also you want the taxes to be delivered, you know, in a, in what we would call like a fair type of way and, and whatever that uh, basically means, right? So sales tax may cause this, uh, for example. So on a, on a sales tax system, when we compare like an income tax to a sales tax in the United States, we often have this argument of saying, well, maybe we should just go to a usage tax or a sales tax system and tax people like many places in Europe and many states do when they earn the uh, revenue as opposed to when when I'm sorry, when they spend the money as opposed to when they earn it. So that would be more of a sales tax type of system. And that could be a fairly simple system to use, but you would think it would be very difficult to actually apply that on the federal government side of things, because that means you would have to completely dismantle the income tax structure, which I feel like that's politically, even if it would be a good thing to do, it'd be very, very difficult uh, to do. So I don't really think, I think more likely what would end up happening is you end up putting in a sales tax on top of the income tax. And now we'll have two taxes that grow like crazy, but in theory, you can argue which is better, a sales tax or an income tax. And the people that like the income tax would say that the sales tax is regressive. And the idea on that would be uh, the people that are buying stuff. When you're buying stuff, are you buying stuff out of necessity or are you buying stuff out of because you want to buy stuff? Do you have the capacity to save? The argument being that if you're a low income individual, you're spending all of your money buying necessities, food, energy. That's what you're spending your money on. And so you're spending 100% of your earnings on food and energy, basically. Whereas if you're wealthy, you're earning more than you need to consume. You can save money and therefore you are not, you're not paying any taxes on the money you're saving, meaning a sales or a usage tax actually incentivizes savings. Whereas what we have an income tax uh, often incentivizes, does not incentivize saving. You know, spending is actually good because some of the stuff we spend on could be like deductible stuff. But again, that's way, that's often way too simplified of an argument because you, you can think of a sales tax type of system where, where it could still be a non-regressive type of system because all you would have to do is to say, is to say, well, uh, if we're talking about a sales tax and, and low income individuals spend all of their money on food and energy, how about we have a sales tax system where the tax is applied on everything except food and energy, right? That's all you'd have. And then, and then of course, the people that spend all their money on the necessities wouldn't be paying any tax and the taxes would be paid by those that are buying like yachts and whatnot that are spending their money extravagantly oftentimes. And then, and which would be the wealthy individuals, and they're often spending more money than they earn because it might be old money, right? They're spending money that they inherited, not money that they currently earned. And so they might be paying, you know, they're paying more taxes on, uh, they've made more taxes on what they even earned. So it's quite possible. So it's, it's not really fair. Again, when you hear the sound bites of, well, you know, the sales tax is regressive and the and the income tax is a progressive tax system and you you've got to kind of dig a little bit deeper because there's often different ways that you can tweak the tax code and obviously no matter what taxes get put in place the government usually tweaks them the wrong way to, and so they make it completely complicated so if, if you replaced the income tax with a sales tax you could make a sales tax work but it's likely the government will tweak it to make it ridiculous. You know, that's kind of the, the trend that seems to happen. But in any case, those are some of the general terms.